so previously we spoke about the intrafleural pressure and now we are going to focus on the intra alveolar pressure so what is this intra alveolar pressure the intra alveolar pressure is the pressure that exists in the alveoli of the lungs so it is the pressure that exists intrapleural pressure and these are the alveolar sacs which are present inside the lungs where I'm circling an O so the pressure which resides inside these alveolar sacs is the intra alveolar pressure and now we'll see the pressure difference generally the intra alveolar pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure so the intra alveolar pressure generally equals the atmospheric pressure that is 760 mm mercury but during the different respiratory cycle so first during inspiration the intra alveolar pressure tends to be negative that is it is recorded around 759 mmHg. So when we look at the difference, so 759 during inspiration process minus the atmospheric pressure, that is 760, you will get negative 1. So that is the intra-alveolar pressure during inspiration tends to be negative. And but during expiration, the intra-alveolar pressure tends to be positive it is recorded around 761 mm hg and when we compare the difference with the atmospheric air that is 760 so 761 minus 760 is positive 1 so write positive 1 Sorry. so here we have positive 1 so generally the Intra alveolar pressure during inspiration is negative and during expiration is positive. And the significance, the importance of this intra alveolar pressure, it helps in the passage of the air, the movement of the air in and out of the alveoli. So it helps in the movement of the air in and out of alveoli and we also know the primary function of these alveoli that is they also help in the exchange of gases between the alveolar air and the blood so I'll simply write the exchange of gases between blood and the air so the exchange of gases And another important fact when we compare between the intra alveolar and the intra pleural pressure the intra pleural pressure is always lesser than the intra alveolar pressure so we'll just note it down that the intra pleural pressure pressure in any form be it inspiration or expiration in any kind of the respiratory cycle the intrapleural pressure is always lesser than the intra alveolar pressure and now we'll determine the transpulmonary pressure during each of the respiratory cycle so here we see the intra alveolar pressure and the intra pleural pressure which are mapped against the pressure so according to this graph we see that during inspiration and expiration the changes of the pressure 
which are noticed in the alveoli and the pleural cavity so according to this graph the zero is the zero denotes the atmospheric pressure that is 760 mm hg so when we see at inspiration the pressure at the intra alveolar level is minus 1 so the intra alveolar pressure in this stage is 759 because we know that zero corresponds to the atmospheric air pressure so during inspiration the intra alveolar pressure is 759 and and the intra pleural pressure is minus 6 from 760 so it is 754 so in this way we can determine the transpulmonary pressure that is the pressure difference between the, in, the between the alveoli and the pleural cavity that is the intra alveolar and the intra pleural pressure so with this graph we can determine the transpulmonary pressure during our respiratory cycle